Dave, good to see you for a, another catch up. Um, I mean, since last time we spoke, there's <laughs> certainly a lot going on. Um, if we could maybe just start, if we can go back with what happened last week um, with the league being called and your message to fan that, fans about refunds. How's that gone down? Yeah, no, I think that um, um, we did the right thing as a league in taking our time to be able to, to, to kind of go through all the options related to finishing the league off and at the end of the day we all unanimously said we couldn't do it. Um, what we wanted to do uh, was be up front um, and mal and, and just let fans know that between the fans and the corporates there was about a million pounds worth of credits, <coughs> excuse me, a million pounds worth of credits there and that for those that um, clearly need the money they should take the credits um, and they're due it um, but also um, the appeal to, to the fan base and to the corporates for them where they could leave the money in the club would be would help significantly. And the response has been phenomenal. Yes, there are people that have taken rebates and they should take the rebate because uh, only they know their financial position. But overall, I think um, it went down really well. Um, lots of feedback about appreciating the transparency with, with where we were. David, so just to clarify, you've obviously the, the initial financial plan that was put in place, which we did swiftly, that was just to cover for the sort of summer months. Now, obviously, not knowing that we're not going to be playing football for a while in front of crowds, it, it, there's a need for us a longer term plan. Is, is that right? Well, I think that, you know, the one thing is sure that the plan you go out with could be changed every couple of months, depending on the information we used the best information we had two and a half months ago to predict football coming back August or September, right? And we're where we are now, clearly, with the pandemic and with everything we know, is that that's not going to be the case. Um, but what we need to do, and hopefully, as I said earlier, it's the next couple of weeks, is to assess where um, the information we have then. I mean, right now, I can't tell you how we're going to broadcast games um, on virtually, you know, on 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 um, a virtual season ticket, right? And what that cost might be to us, and um, which games we'll be able to show, and and that information is being worked on right now. And so hopefully, um, in a couple of weeks, um, we'll have more clarification, which is when I want to come back to fans and update them on where uh, we are. But right now, um, we are projecting no games in front of fans until January, which I think is a prudent thing for us to do. We've really seen the loyalty and support of the Red Army in recent months. Can you explain just how important that contribution has been in helping the club? Well, uh, the contribution is immense. Look, I've said this multiple times that um, I'm a fan myself. It's not my club. It's not the board's club, right? It's our club as a community and as a fan base. And you know, we we continue to to put our community really at the um, at the forefront. Um, you know, I think the fact that we have been really transparent with the fans, um, I think, has been a big help. I think that um, our goal is to um, get the community and the fan base back in love um, with the club. You know, and um, I think we've uh, we're we're achieving that slowly uh, but surely. But the reality is this, fans are buying season tickets not knowing when they'll see a game at Pataudry. Now, um, I don't take that, we don't take that lightly. Then again, we've committed to, and I'll restate, that we committed to giving full value to our fans for their investment in a season ticket. Many of you will have heard that we're moving towards a membership model. So we're all members of Aberdeen Football Club. And, and one way of looking at this, I'd like people to look at this, it's, it's almost like a down payment on a membership to the football club, right? And and as and when we have full clarity on when the games will be played, right? And what games we'll be able to show. If we're able to show you a virtual season ticket till December, can we show both home and away games? And can we what will we be charged, you know, for doing doing that? But I'm really asking the fans to put their trust in me and the club that we want to do the right thing. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but you know, um, I'm saying to the fans that you know this is the biggest crisis we as a club 
faced in our 117 years of uh, being uh, found since we were founded. And again, I'm just asking the fans to put your trust in me that I want, we want to give them full value for their investment in season ticket. And, and that's our commitment. But I can't tell you what it is right now because I don't have all the information. As soon as we understand, you know, the, the, the games that we might be able to show home and away um, 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 for, on a virtual sense, we'll be back and they will be the first people to know. But listen, I personally have made about maybe 50, 70 calls to fans myself. And you know what? It really helps me too. It's really hard. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's tough having been chairman for less than or about 90 days and then this crisis hits. But look, I'm up for it. The fans are up for it. The corporates behind us are up for it. And everyone at the club is up for this. We have to see this through. We can't sit back and wait for it to happen. And so as soon as we have a plan related to how we give value to the fans for their season ticket investment and their Aberdeen investment as well, we'll be back to them. And they'll be the first to know. OK, Dave, there's obviously a lot of decisions for you to make, but what are the priorities for the board and the management in the next few weeks? Well, the priority is for us to assess um, where we might be with this and to be um, kind of uh, conservative in our projections of income um, so that we can see this through. But um, it's going to take us another, I would say, two to four weeks, essentially, to put in place a survival plan for the club on the basis that we're not going to be playing in front of fans until January. So everything we are doing is about um, how Aberdeen Football Club survives. And through that is actually doing the best that we can for our, for our stakeholders, our fans, uh, our staff, players, management, for everybody. Um, it's a very tough position to be in, but that's, that's what we need to do, is put in place a survival plan for the club and, um, and then, then share that with those people directly involved and so they're aware of what's going on. Dave, just any final word for the fans? I mean, I know some some tough decisions ahead, some, some challenging times, but I mean, your uh, passion is still there, and I know from you there's still real general excitement for when when we do get back to playing football again. But together, you know, we'll get through this. This is a major issue for us. But you know, I'm also encouraged by I've been on five hours of video conferences, Zoom calls today with people at the club. And the enthusiasm and passion and the desire and drive towards when we're back playing all the fan engagement stuff we're putting in place you watch this next few weeks we're going to take the fans on a journey as to what pataudry they can expect coming back to pataudry from the red shed to fan zones that's the thing that encourages me because if you sit back the cup's half empty and you go well you know we'll do the best that we can do and we won't change anything the fan engagement will just sit back then and hibernate Absolutely not. We are not hibernating. We are on the front foot as a club, putting into place the things we believe are the right things to do for our club, our community and our fan base. Yes, it's tough, but the message is this, you know, we'll get this done. Dave, thanks for your time. Yeah, take care. Stand free.